finally getting a video up about a brand new knife. Just got it a couple days ago. Here's a first look. Let's freaking do it. Hi, I'm Jeff and I do knife and outdoor gear reviews as well as outdoor videos. So please consider subscribing before you take off. Really neat video today. This is the first time I've actually been able to not review, but just kind of do a feature on a knife that is brand new out there. And this is one that's had a little bit of buzz for a couple months now. And that is the Benchmade Mini Bug Out. Some quick specs on the bug out. It's overall length of six and a half inches, blade length just under three inches. Blade material is CPM S30V steel, which is an excellent steel. Drop point design with a flat ground edge. So besides the length and the weight, this is pretty much just a skinny down, shorter version of the full size bug out. I brought a couple knives today to kind of show you what the comparison is size wise, not just with the bug out, but a few other knives, and then give you my first initial impressions after just a few days of carrying this thing. So there's the, the version that I got. This is the orange handled with the regular satin blade. There are a few other handle colors as well as uh, blade configurations. They have the, the same black. I have it right here with my full size, uh, that black blade like that. Uh, they have that. Uh, that is the knife. Deep pocket carry, just like the regular bug out. Uh, again, axis lock, jimping on the top here that's kind of covered up a little bit by the handle material. Not going to really review this. You can go through and in fact, I'll annotate to my bug out review above, but this is it. So let's see how it matches up uh, to a few others. So here is the full size bug out and this is the OD green with black blade. So you can see the full size to the mini is quite a bit of a difference there. It's a full inch difference. So that's that's a pretty significant difference if, you, um, if you're carrying this obviously. Let me show you, I have uh, this version as well as uh, the full size version blackout. So obviously I am a bug out fan, but let me see, here's a few others. Here is the Benchmade Mini Grip and how it stacks up. So you can see that they are about the same length. The bug out mini just a little bit kicks it off, but uh, it is negligible. We're talking less than a quarter of an inch probably. So uh, very similar to the Mini Grip. Here is the Rat 2 by Antar Ontario Knives. You can see how it marries up to that. It is a, a little bit, maybe half an inch or so smaller than the Rat 2, giving you a, a comparison there. So the initial things I'll say about this knife after carrying it just a couple days, for some reason, the last couple days, I've had a lot of use for my pocket knife. I've had a lot of use and it's really actually use wise been a pleasant surprise for me. The jimping is still an issue for me. I'm not a fan. I do like good jimping that's actually useful and this just really is not. But that said, it still feels really good in the hand. It doesn't quite, and I, if you've seen other reviews online, you'll have heard about this, but it's small enough that you really only get your first three fingers around it for most hands, which is an issue when you're flipping this out. It just kind of feels like you're you're having a tough time holding on to it. My third finger here actually grips behind the clip and that's how I hold on to it, but you know, that's just a splitting hairs sort of thing. I will say that it's, uh, you know, it's not the cheapest knife. They vary. This one's the cheapest, I believe, at about $113. And, you know, typical Benchmade fashion, these are not cheap knives. The more expensive ones get upwards of, I think, $150, $160. I got the orange handle because I, I just needed a little bit of variety in my life. And I have a lot of green. I got a lot of black. I got a lot of micarta. So I wanted to try something different. And I'll be honest, I like this. This, even though the Benchmade was kind of meant to be a blend in sort of knife, nothing super flashy about it. It's just there and you use it. Getting an orange handle, I think, switches that up and obviously blows that out of the water, but ah, it's just a neat little knife. I can see this for me being something I take in the outdoors just because of that or orange handle. If I drop it, it's gonna be a heck of a lot easier to find. That's something that the uh, use wise that I would probably see uh, using this. So what are my initial thoughts on this? Ah, it's tough to say after a couple days of carrying a knife, it's really hard to give a, a full review or even a good feedback on 
what it is and how useful it's gonna be. The first couple days I could say it's been fine. I will say with a little bit bigger hands, it may be too small for you, but for fine work where you're gonna wanna grip up on it, this is gonna be a lot better. It does have that great steel, that great drop point design blade. It's got all the things that people love about the bug out, so it's hard to complain. But I'd say the jury's still out for me. But a neat little knife. Is it worth buying if you have the full size bench made bug out? Ah, to be determined. If you're a knife nerd like me, probably. If you're not a knife nerd, you may want to wait and see what other people say first because these full-size bug outs are just really cool and very useful. Is there a benefit to the mini compared to the full-size? To be determined, we'll see. But that's a little just quick snapshot of the bug out, the mini bug out. I wanted to uh, get that out there and so people could take a look at that, see if this is something that you want to buy. So thanks for watching the video to the end. Please subscribe before you take off and until next time. Here come the noise,